Growing tomatoes just fantastic. Well, I don't think you can beat the flavour of a tomato. You've picked mm. sun ripe and fresh because when you buy them in the shops, sometimes they've been picked almost green and they've been freighted and they're slowly ripening in cold storage. And whatever. that's why you don't get that you real don't get that taste. taste. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sort of a bland mm. taste. And the mixture of varieties you can grow yourself from slightly yeah. tart, sharp ones to sweet ones. Yeah. Things. So we're we're going to talk about um tomato wilt. Susan. Um tomato wilt, right. Now, wilts, there's a huge range of wilts. Loads of different plants get wilts from clematis to carnations to bloom. And it'd be quite difficult if your tomato is to, to know whether it's actually got a wilt or something it's become damaged, the roots have been damaged or something. Um, and it really say, means, yeah, sorry. you know, if you haven't watered the thing and it's been a very hot day, the sort of leaves will droop yeah. and the top will droop, but that drooping will start from the top, so that's not wilt. If the lower leaves start to um, bend down and then go yellow and things, that could be a wilt. But the okay. only way you really know if it is an actual wilt is chop up bits of the stem and have them um, analysed. Analyze. Now what is wilt? It's a disease, it's, is it? Uh, yes, it's an organism in the soil basically. So one of the ways of avoiding oh, it with see. tomatoes is not to plant them too early when it's cold, not to put them out okay. too early when it's cold, and not to put them into cold soil. In okay. other words, when the weather's warmed up, the soil's warmed up in your greenhouse, that's when you can So plant even your in the greenhouse, um, the soil has to well, be... Well, if, if you put your tomatoes out in the greenhouse and you don't have a heated greenhouse and you put them out in mm. March or mm. something like that, mm. I mean, they'll just go bluff at night. Okay. So okay. unless you have a way of keeping the temperature up and even at, and things at night. Right. Well, it's very important, all that information, because for somebody like me who doesn't know, you know, what I'm doing, that's... I wouldn't understand... Um, about the heat of the soil yeah. and you know I would have thought oh my greenhouse yeah, that's perfect so you know tomatoes are tricky you have to They're get the timing tricky. right yes you don't want to be too early with mm -hmm. these things and as I said the most, probably the most important thing is the regular watering so they don't actually dry out and start to to droop okay. which so that's our tomato wilting then yeah it's yeah. it's um, you know it's, it's, a, it's avoidable just good husbandry I think is one of the 